Well, history will be made today when this Falcon 9 rocket launches into space. On board, the first all-private astronaut mission to the International Space Station and the beginning of a new era of space exploration. This is a major step towards building the next generation platform in low Earth orbit. And this is the crew making history in just a few short hours. Second from left there is Larry Connor, a Dayton businessman who will pilot the SpaceX Dragon capsule for the next 36 hours. And he spoke with me before leaving for the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. New this morning, Larry shares his final thoughts before liftoff. How do you feel? Yeah, no, we feel great. We're closing in on 900 hours of rigorous training. We passed or exceeded all of the astronaut standards. I'm very fortunate, really good uh, teammates, so we are ready to go. There is no doubt Larry Connor knows how much is riding on this 10-day mission. The first privately funded astronauts who will live and work on the ISS. All of them conducting research in the name of science. I'm super fortunate to be working with both Cleveland Clinic and Mayo Clinic on four different experiments. The mission is the first in what Axiom hopes will one day become a global academic and commercial hub in low Earth orbit. Well, I don't know that homes are in space, but certainly space is the next great frontier. And I am hopeful by the time, energy, financial commitment we're making, that that's going to open it up and open it up on multiple fronts. More research, both medical and scientific, as well as educating, you know, our youth. In fact, during his short time in space, Larry plans to host four sessions with kids back on Earth, hoping to inspire space exploration. So my message would be is aim high. Don't give up. Don't let people, adults, set limitations. You can do the impossible. Any last words for people here in Ohio before you lift off? Hey, I uh, want to represent Ohio. You know, Ohio has a tremendous history of not only aviation, but space exploration. And so uh, it's my commitment to do uh, all Ohioans proud certainly is. When we asked him if he sees himself as a pioneer, Larry said, no, I don't. Instead, he says people like the Wright brothers, Neil Armstrong, John Glenn, they were the daring pioneers who went into the unknown. And for him, it's safe now today compared to back then. And if you ask his granddaughter, she's three, oh. she does call him the rocket man and thinks <laughs> everyone's awesome. going to space. That's fantastic. Yeah. And how awesome that he's going to talk to kids in the classroom. I just think that's so selfless mm -hmm. and wonderful. He is. Yeah. I just find it amazing that we have technology that we can do that. You know, mm -hmm. he can just sit there and just, hey, kids, I'm right. up in space. You know? But he wants to prove to the new generation, the younger yes. kids, that you can do it too, mm -hmm. right? And so look at the, all the possibilities that we're doing. And this isn't space tourism, right? right? What we saw with Jeff Bezos mm -hmm. and, you know, while that was all good and great. I mean, this is true space research. They're on the ISS for eight days wow. mm -hmm. doing medical research.